Hello everybody, this is the PC Security and today we'll be taking a look at the free version of Avast Antivirus. And so we just did a Google search and I selected the first link that I got. And I think this will take me to their free website. There you go. This is their own website and as you can see they've got three versions. Uh, one is free and they've got a pro antivirus and the internet security which we have already tested. So I'll be getting the free antivirus so that we can do some testing, do some prevention tests just like the ones I did with AVG. So it won't be a very professional review, it will be a simple one so that most of our simple viewers can get it pretty easily. Now when you click on this, uh, they just ask you to buy their pro antivirus, but uh, you can just say no thanks and you'll get their free version. Okay, so this takes us to CNET and you can download their installer. Okay, so their installer is 71.2 megs. I think it's a standalone installer. And my connection is kind of slow, as you know, so I'm just going to pause right now and I will be back when the 71.2 MB has completed downloading. And then we'll go through the install. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, the download is done and I'm just going to run their installer. And we'll see uh, what changes they've made from the last version. Okay, so this is a much better uh, looking installer, I think, than the default one that they had earlier. But it's got two extra options here. As you can see, you can install Google Chrome. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use Internet Explorer, as I always do. And I'm going to install in default settings. That's their express install. So I guess this is going to take a while. As you saw, I just hit the default settings. Now this is going to create a restore point, And then it's going to copy the files. So I'll be back uh, when something else uh, pops up asking me to do something or anything like that. Okay, as you can see, it's already started, and uh, this is how the installer looks like. So I'll be back uh, when this is over. We'll come back. As you can see, it's uh, finished, and I'm just going to hit the Finish button. It isn't telling me to do anything. And I think it's going to ask me to restart. Uh, no, so it's not asking me to restart like right now. So here you've got a new window, and it asks, tells you that welcome to the VAS and you can register your program or upgrade to their internet security. So I'm just going to register it. Now you'll have to select your basic protection that's the free antivirus. That's got only antivirus and antivirus. Their full version comes with safer surfing. I guess they've got some surf protection and safe zone and firewall and of course uh, anti-phishing. So I'm just going to select the free one because I want to test that. Okay, now this brings you to a survey. Now this is kind of uh, annoying because I don't see surveys in any other major free products. Uh, so it's kind of annoying that I have to pull up my details just to use their free version. Okay, so now I'm going to register.
and they're asking me to get another trial. So there's a lot of advertising here. That's one thing I don't like. Uh, okay, they've got you can advertise it. That's absolutely fine. But this kind of too much. But anyway, I'm just going to update it. And as you saw, I just installed it. So obviously, the settings are going to be set to stock. So they've got a cloud. Uh, the virus test is just their quarantine. And you can change the way it alerts you somewhat. It's got a game mode. It's basically all the simple settings, nothing much to play around with. So, but they've got a lot of options. I mean, you can customize their sounds, their interface, lots of stuff. So you can play around with it actually, but nothing much advanced. So basically, it's registered for a year, and uh, as you can see, everything's fine. Now they've got an auto sandbox even in their free version, which is good. And they've got the real time shields as usual. And they've got a behavior blocker. So they seem to have a lot of security protection. I don't know how well it works, but uh, they seem to mention a lot of features in Zero Day. I'm just going to update it, and I'll be back whenever this update's done, so we can try out our chem links just like we did in AVG. This is also going to be a prevention test, so I've got no files. I'll just be doing, you know, a prevention test on the facts. So I'll be back whenever this update is done. Seems to be taking a long while to initialize. I've just updated it, so I'm just going to show you guys that it's up to date. So while it's, uh, I think it's done. No, it takes a while. So during that time, let's just navigate to malware domain list. So as you can see, they've got a link scanner, I think. Yeah. So they scan all your links that you go to, which is good. And there you go. It's already up to date. So as you can see, everything's turned on. It didn't ask me to restart, so I didn't restart. And we'll be doing the basic prevention test as we do. And uh, I'll just be using malware domain list so that you know you guys can cross the links I use. In case I bring links, you just can't be sure that I didn't select any random that I did select any random list. You might think I just selected the ones that. I know uh, this AV is going to miss, so I'd just be using the first 10 links from malware domain list. It's kind of giving me some problems here. It's not connecting. Now, asking me again, which makes no sense. I've already registered and updated it, as you saw. Okay, so this is malware domain list. As you guys know, it's uh, a place where to find the latest malware. So I'm basically just going to do ten links. You can think, you can draw your own conclusions from this review. Okay, this is kind of strange. Never got that alert before. Okay, so this one was blocked. So the first one was blocked by a vest as a malicious URL. Now this is a Trojan. Okay, so this one was blocked by their URL signatures as well. 
which is good. Okay, we've got three zeros in a row, so I'm going to skip one. Just so that we, okay, so we've got a lot of zeros today, so I'll just skip to the next kind of virus, that's the Phoenix exploit kit. So it's, we have tried two, so it's two out of two for AVG so far. And this one's not working, so we've just tried two so far, and no misses. This one seems to be dead, so I'll just try the next one. Okay, this one's a Trojan downloader. Uh, I guess all the links in this domain might be dead. No. This one was blocked as Trojan downloader, and it's blocked, it's blocked by their URL filter, which is good. So we'll just try the next one. So this is a black hole exploit kit. Okay, and this one was blocked as well by their surf shield or network shield. This one's a Trojan. So we've tried four links so far. So this is the fifth one. Okay, fifth one's dead. So just four so far. Okay, this one was blocked. Okay, this one's a fake AV, so it should be interesting. Okay, this one was blocked by the URL filter. Uh, I've kind of lost track. We just tried. So I think we've tried seven. Never mind, we'll just try. Okay, so this one was blocked. As usual, I'll be looking for a 10 on 10 so that I can say that this antivirus can protect your computer. Of course, that doesn't mean, mean that it's not going to miss anything. It's certainly going to miss some stuff, but if it gets 10 on 10, then we're going to hope that it's going to do well. Okay, so this one was blocked. This is a Trojan. Okay, this one was blocked as well. So I think we're down to the last link. So I'm just going to try this rootkit zero access just for variety. And looks like, yep, I think this one's blocked. But anyway, we'll just try one more from another just to be sure, because I've kind of lost track of how many we've done. Okay, so this one was blocked as well. So it looks like the new the fast version 7 is doing pretty well. It blocked all stuff from malware domain list that I basically threw at it. So it seems to be doing pretty well. I mean, basically the web blocking is pretty good. Now, as I said, I just did the links from our domain list. Now, you can have your own take from this, whether you think this is good, this is bad. But if you ask me, it did pretty well. So if you want a free antivirus, certainly a VAT will do you uh, a good job for you. So as you saw, I mean, that's the basic review. And I'm not going to do a scan or anything. So I guess that's it for this review. So hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later. Good day.